Hello and welcome to the CS Card video tutorial. My name is Alex and today we're gonna speak about how layout pages work in CS Card. Let's begin. Previously we spoke about blocks and containers that compose the structure of layout pages and therefore the look of the stuff front. Now it's time to discuss layout pages. A layout page represents either a certain type of storefront pages or a specific storefront page like checkout or cart pages. For instance, if you change the product layout page, all product pages on the storefront will be affected. And if you click on the Add Layout Page tab, you'll be able to add a new custom page. Set up a separate layout page for a category or a product or for a completely new section of the storefront. You can add as many layout pages as you need. As well as adding new pages, you can edit the properties of the default ones. To do so, click the gear icon on a tab of the selected layout page, tweak them and click Save. You can also delete layout pages through this pop-up. Just click the trash button at the bottom of the pop-up window. This section cannot be reverted, so be careful. By the way, it is impossible to delete the default layout page since it determines the top panel, header and footer of the storefront. As you can see, other layout pages only inherit these sections. You can also make them individual for each page by clicking Set Custom Configuration in the Section field. Want some more customization? Then the Layouts tab is the thing you need. This tab can be found on each separate store page in the admin panel. It allows you to change block settings of separate layout pages, add specific content to blocks, and enable or disable them. Well, that's it about layout pages and layouts in general. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CSCART video tutorials.